Hi everyone, welcome to your dev guide. So in the last video, we have seen the how to count the occurrences of the given element in the array. So this is how we have get the output. If you have not watched that video, please do watch that episode. That is also kind of the most asked interpretation. So in this video, we will be seeing now we have this object. Okay, and inside that object, I wanted to count how many boys over there. So this is the question. So how can we do that? So let's see that. We get started with it. Let me open the file in the occurrences. Okay, so now I have this object. I wanted to calculate the how many boys is over there. So one thing I okay, so we have copied this object now here. So we can use a reduce operator. You might heard about it. So the use of the reduce is that so. It holds two things over there. Let me show you how it works. Uh, let me create one cons. We can discuss by writing the code again. Cons count points. Let's see. Then this dot reduce. Okay. So now let you see what it takes. It takes uh, it has the method of the current value then the index of it so it gives you like that okay so now what it is doing it is getting it is giving us a gender and name so we can write the condition on the gender so it would return the desired output on the current index on the current index okay and the current value also we can pass over there so this is how what happens so we can we can say it as an accumulator so this is how it works let me show you okay. so it's like this and we create them. Okay, so now it takes two parameters over here. First is your callback function, and another is the initial value. If you if you want to pass something initial value, then you can pass here. You can see here at right zero here, it should show the initial value over here. Okay, so now what we have to do we have to create count and your this is our current value and current index. So let me take as a uh, uh, time. Now, what we can do over here, we can return this count. Okay, depend upon the condition. What is that? Count. Count. So we can, we can return upon the condition by adding the value of it. Okay. So initially the value of count will be zero. Okay. So as soon as I got that i dot gender equal to equal to boy, it get incremented. Okay. Let me show you. Plus i dot gender equal to equal to what? Now if I print this, can see that. Um, so, let's put this and see the output. It should show three over here. Okay. So, what we are doing right now here? So, value it is returning. You might see that. So, if you are doing like this, so it should return true. True means one. Okay. So initial value of it, the count is zero. So this is the initial value for this count. So initially it is zero. Okay. So next time when this condition gets satisfied, it returns true. True means one. Let me show you how it is. Okay. So we put a duplicate over here. Okay. Now five to Okay. Now I have this graph. If I do like this and if I try to print in the console, it should return you false. Okay. Watch here zero. Okay. If I do like this. Okay. Now, as soon as it gets executed, it came to the next index now. It is boy. Okay. If I put this here. Okay. So now you have count plus this okay if you see initial count was zero but you are adding this condition to it so it is true true means it would take one okay so that is why it is adding the value over here now 
what you can do okay again you have the gender and now this so what we can do count plus this again so it will do count plus that this condition it would add to it so this is how it is getting incremented so don't be confused how it is working over here you can write another condition if it is this then add one otherwise the same way we have done in the last video you can do so yeah so this is how i can do so if we change this boy to girl so it will count your girl's condition so let me show that as well like this here girls count girls now let me remove it if i can stop here okay You can see the output now here. Okay. Okay. So you can see output now. So boys count is three and girls count is four. So this is how we can add the condition. And we can instead of writing that primary operator, if it is true, then increment that value plus plus like that. So again, this is the shorthand. So you can check this by in the console. So how it is working. 